It's not dissimilar to a major extinction event. <laughs>
there's no DNA to make new copies, new bits of RNA, so this stuff that's been injected, it's there for a period, and then it's gone. And you should know this if you weren't a lying shitbag trying to, I don't know what your game is, but uh, yeah, lies. Fucking lies. See the eradication of all diseases through vaccination, not for the benefit of mankind, but because they believe they have the technology to do it, and they it's worth so much money to them. So I'm pretty centralist in my politics, so I mean, maybe some lefties can explain this to me in the comments, but check this guy out. Um, could someone explain to me why it would be wrong and bad if we're able to eradicate all diseases using vaccines and companies made money producing those vaccines? Can someone explain why that would be wrong? I, I, I'm a, I've been described as a pathological optimist, and I, I think that, uh, that we are in a classic time of sort of Darwinian selection that people will live and people will die. And it's it's a tragedy that it should have had to have happened in this way. Oh, come on, Andy, you've really jumped the shark now. What's this? He, he's trying to say that vaccines are going to be an extinction level event on humankind. But that's an optimistic thing to him as well. He thinks that, you know, oh, the vaccines are going to wipe out most of the human race. But, but that's an optimistic point of view because he knows that people are going to survive and he's cheering you on. Don't vaccinate your children because they're going to be the future of humanity. <laughs> but there will be survivors, and the survivors will be those, as we've seen in the vaccinated versus unvaccinated studies that have been now published, are that those unvaccinated children are remarkably healthy. They do not have these chronic health conditions. They are robust. They are as children should be, and they will be the survivors. They will carry the human genome forward into the future. But we are in a very, very uncomfortable position now. It's not dissimilar to a major extinction event that the, what the Earth has seen five times in its geological history. So I said before I didn't know what Wake, Wake Fraud's game was, but um, I've now looked it up and I now know what Wake Fraud's game is. Um, He's actually a professional anti-vaxxer. He does anti-vax for a living. He's a disbarred doctor. He uh, can't practice uh, medicine anymore because he w is a fraud, got con basically kicked out of the medical profession for fraud. And so now he's a professional uh, anti-vaxxer and he makes money selling anti-vax propaganda. Um, so yeah, that's his game. Um, and he's a horrible human being. People forget that uh, what a fraud this guy is. And I just want to read uh, an article, or bits of an article from this uh, British Medical Journal article about Wakefield. Yes, this talks about um, a journalist by the name of Brian Deere who shows the extent of Wakefield's fraud and how it was perpetrated. Drawing on interviews, documents and data made public at the General Medical Council hearings, Deere shows how Wakefield altered numerous facts about the patient's medical histories in order to support his claim to have identified a new syndrome. How his institution, the Royal Free Hospital and Medical School in London, supported him as he sought to exploit the ensuing MMR scare for financial gain, and how key players failed to investigate thoroughly in the public interest when Deere raised his concerns. Deere published his first investigation into Wakefield's paper in 2004. This uncovered the possibility of research fraud, unethical treatment of children, and Wakefield's conflict of interest through his involvement with a lawsuit against manufacturers of the MMR vaccine. But you could bear in mind these companies that make these vaccines are beholden to their stockholders. Please save us your holy and thou bullshit about the evils of the capitalist system. You didn't care much about the evils of the capitalist system back in 1998 when you were fraudulently altering children's medical records to make it look like the MMR vaccine was really dangerous. In the meantime, what you're taking nearly four, well, nearly half a million UK pounds as a consultant in a lawsuit that was suing the MMR uh, va vaccine manufacturers at the same time fraudulently creating evidence to convict the MMR vaccine manufacturers. Save that holier-than-thou bullshit. Back in that time, you applied for a patent 
for a, uh, a measles vaccine. Seems like you were a bit of a vaccine fan then, as long as it was your vaccine that you had a fucking patent for, you absolute prick. Ooh. So I've had a Valium now, I'm feeling a bit calmer. I can answer the question that I posed at the beginning. Should we be afraid of the mRNA vaccines? In summary, no, because the people that are trying to frighten you about the mRNA vaccines are liars. And that's really about it.